Hey guys, it's Chris. From strange visitors from another planet to when the first dead galaxy appeared in the universe, here are eight mysterious recent discoveries from space. Number 8. 2 I Borisov Despite its fancy name, there's a very simple explanation for what 2 I Borisov is. It's a comet. On the surface of things, that doesn't sound very impressive. Why should we care about a comet? But the real thing here isn't that it's a comet. It's that 2 I Borisov is a comet that comes from outside our solar system and is now here. That makes it an interstellar comet, which is actually rather rare in our part of the galaxy. In fact, it's only the second comet that has ever done that after the weird object known as Omama. On October 12, 2019, the Hubble Space Telescope was able to get some photos of 2I Borisov, and with it came confirmation as to what it was and how it was different from Omama. Whereas Omama appeared to be a rock, Borisov is really active more like a normal comet. It's a puzzle why these two are so different, said David Jewett of the University of California, Los Angeles, leader of the Hubble team who observed the comet. Obviously, 2I Borisov is special because it doesn't come from our solar system. But there's more to it than that that scientists find interesting. Mainly, this is an object that can help us understand what is going on out there in the universe. And to that end, what's out there and how it relates to our own star system. Though another star system could be quite different from our own, the fact that the comet's properties appear to be very similar to those of the solar system's building blocks is very remarkable, said Amaya Moro Martin of the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore. As you can see, it's bizarre that something from so far away can match something so close to us. Thus, if this is in reach, maybe other like-minded objects are. Only time will tell. Number 7. Omama So what is Omama? It's technically the universe's first interstellar object, one that was found in 2017 by scientists. So what does interstellar object mean exactly? That would be an object that is flying through space yet isn't tied to the gravity or pull of a star or other object. So basically, it's something that is hurtling through space on its own without anyone's help. Unlike things like comets and asteroids which are given direction and form via things like collisions and planetary gravity. This is why Omama is so special in the eyes of scientists, because at points in their research on it, they found that Omama was actually going faster and faster as it traveled through space, even though it wasn't passing through anything or by anything that would allow it to do that. Technically speaking, there are other objects in the universe that move around like Omama, but because of the oddity of the object, as well as the fact that it's over 3,000 feet in length, there are many people who feel that this isn't some kind of random space object. Rather, they think this is some kind of an alien spacecraft because of its unique speed and form. It's true. People honestly felt that this was an alien craft of some kind, to the extent that there was heavy research into thinking about what it would mean if it was an alien craft. But then a study came out in 2019, all but proving that this was a comet, albeit an irregular one. One even going so far as to state how it gets extra propulsion via its movements and gases that are emitted. The study's overall reasoning seems sound, and the results are a really good match to the observed characteristics of Omama. Marco Michelli, a scientist at the European Space Agency, told Scientific American. But others still aren't convinced that Omama is a comet. It does not look like at least 99.999% of the solar system's comet. Avi Loeb, astrophysicist at Harvard University, also told Scientific American. Loeb is also one of the scientists who think Omama might be an alien artifact. And this would hardly be the first time that people think an object from space is an alien craft or device of some kind. But it would be the first time that it happened in the modern era to such a degree. So is it a comet? Is it something more? Only time will reveal the true answers to this mystery. Number 6. Planet 9 once upon a time, the solar system that contained Earth had nine planets, the ninth of which was called Pluto. However, eventually that title was taken away from Pluto, so now the solar system only has eight planets. Or does it? Scientists have been looking at the outer reaches of the solar system, 
and have noticed some strange anomalies, mainly in the orbits and paths of certain objects that don't line up with how objects should orbit the Sun. Their theory is that somewhere out there in the outer realm of the solar system is a hidden planet, Planet 9, which would of course drastically change our perspective of the solar system should it be proven to be real. On some level this may seem strange, as you would think that we would know if there was another planet out there, especially if it's as big as they think it is in order to affect the orbits of the objects mentioned. However, despite many man-made objects looking into space, we cannot possibly cover the entire solar system with a gaze, as the system is many millions of miles wide and long. Just from the Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles in distance. And that's not covering the vast area of space, just measuring in a straight line. This adds to both the strangeness and the mystery of Planet 9, because since we can't see it, we don't know where it is right now, how big it is, what it's made of, and more. Yet the science and theories that say it's there, well, they're sound. As for what it might have come from, it's believed to have been a rogue planet, one from another galaxy that could have, over time, likely millions of years, been thrown into the midst of our own galaxy and then caught by the sun. Should it be found, it would be a great historical discovery, but until that point, it's only a theory. Number 5. Proof as to how early black holes got big There are many forces in the universe that are almost as old as the universe itself, and primary among them are black holes. These entities wield powerful gravity fields that suck in anything and everything around them. And the more mass they absorb, the bigger they become, even becoming larger than some galaxies. The ones that achieve this level in size are known as supermassive black holes, which are usually found at the center of galaxies. What's curious and mysterious here is that recently scientists have noted the finding of cool gases from galaxies that are among the oldest in the universe. Now that may not sound odd at first, but what drew scientists to them was that these gases were very much like reservoirs. And these gases are what supermassive black holes like to devour in order to get more mass. So why does this matter? Because for the longest time, scientists have been trying to figure out how certain things came to be in the beginning phases of the universe, after the Big Bang which they like to refer to as the cosmic dawn, and yet when it came to the black holes, they drew a blank, because they couldn't piece together how the black holes grew without the necessary materials. And now they have an answer to that. We are now able to demonstrate for the first time that primordial galaxies do have enough food in their environments to sustain both the growth of supermassive black holes and vigorous star formations, said Emanuel Paolo Farina of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg, Germany, who led the research published in the Astrophysical Journal. This adds a fundamental piece to the puzzle that astronomers are building to picture how cosmic structures formed more than 12 billion years ago. And if this piece holds true, it could lead to more revelations about the cosmic dawn and what led to certain forces in the universe being made. Number 4. Asteroid Particle Effects Asteroids make up a large part of both the solar system we live in and the universe at large and many are examining asteroids for clues as to the creation of the universe and beyond. As for the asteroid known as Bennu, when NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft landed on it, they realized that this asteroid was doing something much different than other asteroids. Mainly, it appeared to be active, so much so that it was discharging particles at a rate that was very much unlike any other asteroid discovered so far. Among Bennu's many surprises, the particle ejection sparked our curiosity, and we've spent the last several months investigating this mystery," said Dante Loretta, OSIRIS-REx principal investigator at the University of Arizona in Tucson. This is a great opportunity to expand our knowledge of how asteroids behave. If this was a singular emission of particles, then it possibly wouldn't have registered on NASA's radar. But instead, these particle emissions were born at different parts of the asteroid itself. What's more, sometimes these particles would orbit the asteroid, while other times they would just float out into space. There are many theories as to how the asteroid is able to do this. The top three candidates, though, are meteoroid impacts, thermal stress fracturing, and releases of water vapor. But until the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft returns, it's unclear what they'll find that points to the cause. 
Number 3. Mysterious Planet Mass Objects An important factor of space exploration right now is that we're mapping out multiple parts of the universe via telescopes and probes, and using the images to map out other solar systems and galaxies. A research group from the University of Oklahoma, for example, is studying a galaxy that is some distance away from the Milky Way. And for the first time since 2018, they've detected planet mass scale objects within said galaxy. The problem is that they don't know exactly what it is, as there's only documentation of the mass, which does not confirm or eliminate certain possibilities. The detection of planet mass objects, either free floating planets or primordial black holes, are extremely valuable for modeling of star and planet formations or early universes, said Dai. Even without decomposing the two populations, our limit on the primordial black hole population are already a few orders of magnitude below previous limits in the mass range. As noted, they don't know what they are, but if they are free floating planets, they can help define both the galaxy and confirm certain clues about the universe as a whole. To those who don't know, free-floating planets are planets that have been scattered around the universe without tether. Thus, they float in space, without a direction or a cause. However, if they're primordial black holes, well, that's another matter. These were early black holes that were formed during the Big Bang, and unlike regular black holes, would not have been made via dying stars or other collapsing matter. They are much lighter in mass, and thus don't conform to certain standards of regular black holes. At present, primordial black holes are only theoretical because none have truly been discovered, though this could change if these two planet mass objects are discovered to be truly this. Number 2. Planet Around a White Dwarf Star University of Warwick's Department of Physics and the Millennium Nucleus for Planet Formations at the University of Valparaiso published a paper in December of 2019, noting that they had found a gas planet that was circling a white dwarf star. What's more, this dwarf star is dead, and yet the planet is still circling it. This is significant for multiple reasons, as well as raising many mysteries. The most important factor in this discovery is that the planet, which is apparently like Neptune in its gaseous composition, is there at all. Usually the transformation to a white dwarf star takes out any planets that are near it. The only reason they were even looking at this star was because an excess of hydrogen gas was found that didn't belong to the star itself. Apparently when the gas planet travels around the star, it leaves hydrogen in its wake. Scientists didn't really know what to make of this at first, until they looked closer at the white dwarf when it was pointed out in a survey. This led to intense study on the star itself. Lead author Dr. Boris Gainsicki from the University of Warwick said, At first we thought this was a binary star, with an acceleration disk formed from mass flowing between the two stars. However, our observations show this is a single white dwarf, with a disk around it roughly 10 times the size of our sun, made solely of hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. Such a system has never been seen before, and it was immediately clear to me that this was a unique star. What this means as a whole is that there could be even more planets circling white dwarf stars in the universe right now that haven't even been discovered yet. Number 1. New Timeline for Universe Formation Without a doubt, one of the biggest questions in our universe is that of what happened after the Big Bang. This question has turned many scientists to looking at the stars, examining galaxies, and doing the best they can to make a timeline that fits the information they have. However, after finding a galaxy that is much older than the Milky Way, and one that has trillions of stars within it, it's been discovered that the core of the galaxy and possible other galaxies were made a billion years before scientists said they'd been born. Specifically, new data shows that the cores of galaxies were made 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, instead of 2.5 billion years. Which is a big difference, because that completely changes the timeline for the formation of everything we know in the universe, which can have a deep impact on everything science is telling us is true. To help try and settle everything down, the team looking at this galaxy is now trying to figure out when did the first dead galaxy appear in the universe? One scientist on the team who discovered this asked, This is a very interesting question for us to address. To do so, we will continue to observe the deep sky with the largest telescopes and expand our search as much more advanced facilities become available. 
Regardless of whether this question gets answered, the nature of this galaxy proves that we have much to learn about the universe and how it was fully made. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these mysterious discoveries of space that we've made recently? Which of them do you think will have a major impact on our world, if any? What other discoveries do you feel we'll be making in the upcoming years? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time.